Hey Glasgow Movie Addict here, hope you're all well. In this video review, I'm going to be talking to you about the new action thriller uh, Sisu, uh, which has been released into UK cinemas. Sisu is a Finnish word which doesn't have a direct translation, but its definition is a white knuckled form of courage and determination in the face of adversity, uh, which is the characteristics that our main protagonist embodies in this film. So, uh, in this film, we have a lone gold miner um, who has turned his back on the Second World War, set in 1944 uh, in Northern Finland uh, at the tail end of World War II. Um, and this, uh, and our main protagonist, uh, is a lone miner who stumbles across uh, lots of gold, uh, which he mines and puts into nuggets. Um, however, the distance to the nearest bank for him is over 500 miles. So you must travel on horseback um, with this these bags of gold. Uh, en route, uh, he stumbles across a group of rogue Nazis who try to steal his gold, but they then realise that they have messed with the wrong guy, um, as he turns out to be an ex-Finnish commander and one mean mofo that you do not want to mess with, uh, which is one guy's quote uh, from this film, one of the soldiers. Um, so, yeah, it's about how he fights off all these Nazis um, and kills off these Nazis one by one. It's almost like a sort of John Wick set during the Second World War. It um, reminds me a little bit of Rambo. Um, even reminds me a little bit of... Um, um, Willy's Wonderland, Nicolas Cage's character in that because this guy never talks or well, it's a much better film than Willy's Wonderland um, but steering back to right track it reminds me more of things like Rambo, John Wick, Equalizer those sorts of films where you have like a lone protagonist and lots of bad guys try to kill him um, in, this, uh, in this film it's uh, the Nazis um, you have a character, our main character um, it's played by Yorma Tomia um, and he's actually a really good actor um, for someone who has very, very little, uh, if any, dialogue at all. Um, he's silent pretty much throughout the movie. Um, and a lot of the acting and the emotions are conveyed through his facial expressions, uh, which he's really good at. Um, you also have a really good villain in this film, uh, played by Axel Henney, who plays um, the Colonel. Um, Axel Henney, you may know, is a Norwegian actor. Um, who is um, who's in this film I watched fairly recently called Headhunters. Um, it's a Norwegian film. Uh, Axel Henny plays uh, the Nazi uh, general for this, this specific battalion that's going after this guy's gold. And he's very ruthless, very cruel, um, sends uh, troops in, in knowing that they've got almost certain death in certain scenes. Um, the way this film shot, there's some really good cinematography of the wilderness, um, really good scenes about the sort of um, the horror of uh, the war and and um, what the Nazis did to northern Finland. They had a sort of scorched earth approach, um, so there's really good shots of like the wastelands and the wilderness and the and and just the the uh, unwelcome nature of the landscape, um, and. Also, you have some pretty cool action scenes as well. Some pretty cool kills, some um, inventive kills, effective use of Second World War weaponry. Um, there's a scene involving landmines, which is probably my favourite scene in the film. It's, it's uh, pretty badass. Um, and the way that the film was uh, made and broken up, it is definitely got an action film vibe about it, but uh, it has almost a sort of grindhouse vibe about it, the way that the film's um, structured uh, is all set into chapters so it's like chapter 1, the gold chapter 2, the Nazis, chapter 3, the minefield and then so on and so forth um, so uh, whilst it's uh, um, set during the Second World War uh, I wouldn't class this really as a, as a war movie, um, more of a sort of action movie uh, with action movie vibes my kind of shortcomings of this film is that I did, did feel towards the end it got a little bit cheesy um, and also the suspension of disbelief has to be really, really high for this film. There's certain things that this guy 
can do that uh, that you just go right okay no one could say uh, but seriously no nah. you, you so you have to switch that side of you off um there's not really there's a lack of realism there's a ra lack of real depth um to this film real sort of character development um but the film is an action film and it's simple yet effective that's what i would um that's how i would just sum it up very simple very thin plot but very effective and a fun um a fun film um if you want to see nazis um getting slaughtered by one guy um if you like movies like john wick rambo um then give the give sisu a try um i enjoyed it i would give it a solid eight out of ten i would say it's one of the better action films of this year but let me know what you think uh, comment below uh, and i'll be back with you on my next review my name is Robert and you've been listening to Glasgow Movie Addict. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.